let's face it, no one likes to wear a helmet, but it's one of those necessities that you may want to invest in if you want to reduce the amount of damage if you ever were to get into an accident. So today is the GLX GX11 model that I am going to present to you. And it's a full face helmet and I chose the color olive green because it goes with most of the things that I own in terms of fashion. And it comes with a visor in the front which can get foggy but just for a limited period of time once you're breathing into it. Your breath will cause condensation once it starts heating up inside of this helmet but it won't last long. You'll see in the description of this product when you order it that it says anti-fog. If you don't trust that, well, then use one of the many products that you use inside your car that does not have anti-fog protection. Another thing that you will want to know about this helmet is that it reduces the noise of everything that's happening around you. Here's the padding inside of it to stabilize your head. But also, let's say there's a child screaming or there's just an accident about to happen in which you're involved, you just want to be aware that this will mute a lot of those sounds. And you might want that for a more comfortable ride to work in a major city, but also know that it's it also a thing that is going to impede your awareness. So one thing that I like to do when I'm using this helmet is constantly keep my head moving. I make believe like I am in New York City, Los Angeles, or Chicago, or anywhere. You should always be vigilant. And just see if there's a car about to pass when you're changing lanes. See if there's uh, someone walking in your way or crossing the street holding their cell phones. And... Uh, you know, playing Candy Crush or something like that. Another thing about this helmet, it's rather comfortable, but it will run a size smaller. Yes, the GLX company, GX11 model, runs a size smaller. So this is an extra large. My head is normally for a large hat, like the one that I'm wearing now, a large cap. So whatever you get usually so if you run a small get a medium if you get a medium run a large if you get a large get an extra large if you get an extra large usually get in double xl because you want it to fit your head you don't want it to just sit under your chin like it's not supposed to be there like if it's a child helmet you want it to cover your entire face and by that i mean you want to be fully protected fully protected means you're going to have to run it a size bigger they have different variations in colors when you buy it from Amazon if you go to the store you might want to call ahead because as you know in 2024 you don't always get the same options in the store as you do online another thing about this helmet is that it scratches rather easily but that's nothing new if you know a lot of the products that are made of hard plastic they scratch rather easily it's nothing that is going to ruin the full effect of the color that in which you intended to purchase or to use for the longevity of the product. But just keep that in mind. It's an informed customer is an empowered customer, as we like to say here on this channel. Now to strap it in, it has the same kind of latches that you might find on your roller skates, your roller blades from the 90s so you just go in like that and it will secure the helmet to your face and to get out of it you just lift up this red ribbon that will detach it from your face uh, keep in mind that the weight on this is about I'm gonna say two and a half to three pounds so if that's something that you can't handle you might want to invest in something that's lighter but not as protective. This model here is certified by the DLT or the Department of Transportation, which does not mean that it's going to shatter 
that so it'll stop it from shattering if you get into an accident it won't stop your head from exploding into a billion pieces but at least everything will be inside the helmet now another thing that you might want to know about this helmet is that the visor that it comes with is a clear one and it also within your order you're gonna find another visor that is tinted yeah so uh, has a tint on it that will stop the glare and you just might not want to make eye contact when you're riding or for whatever reason but it's a good thing that they threw in this helmet itself retails for anywhere from about 70 to about 99 dollars and you can detach it from the visor from the sides and you can snap them back in but the one that i've been using the most has been the clear one i like to make sure i can see everybody it kind of resembles also a football helmet right emmett smith barry sanders something like that or some kind of lost astronaut riding a scooter in the middle of the street you will also garner a lot of looks because it's kind of stylish you know, no one likes to wear a helmet. I heard somebody say no one looks uh, good or stylish or cool with a helmet on, but I beg to differ. It all depends on how you wear it. And everyone looks good with their brain inside their skull. So another thing about this helmet is that it's very well padded. I don't know how far deep you can see inside this crevice, but just touching it you can tell it's very well padded i would assume that if you use it on a regular day basis you probably won't have to change any of these pads for about a year a couple years right everything wears away but just by looking at it it's well made so if you get it you order this you special order it straight from the company just know that this is uh, an extra large what else can I say about it? I'm looking to see if I see where it's manufactured. I don't want to assume that it's made in China, but it is. Yeah. And that's fine. Look at the reviews, look at the ratings of the people who have purchased this product and have taken their time to leave a review. This is one of the highest rating helmets at the moment, as of 2024. And also when you're on Amazon and you're looking at the reviews, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is that a lot of the reviews for a lot of products that you see have about 2,000, 3,000 reviews are not even for the product in which you intend to buy. A lot of the reviews are for a product that they used to sell or they and they got a lot of high reviews on and then all of a sudden they switch products. So you're thinking you're getting the reviews for this product but you're getting reviews for another product that they no longer sell, but they just use that product to get into the business. It's a sneaky way that a lot of companies use to make it believe like their new product that costs a lot more than what they used to sell, make it look like that's a product that's really popular at the moment or that customers hold in high regard. It has vents up here at the top. It has vents in the front while you're breathing through and of course the visor itself if it's a warm day like it is today you just open it up and it has a part over here that sticks out that will help you that will assist you on getting that open and you can ride it and everybody can see half of your face but let's say you don't want bugs to get in your face you don't want dust to get in your eye you just want to have a quiet ride, you just put it down like this, and that's how quickly it can close. It can open just by you lifting it from the front, and it does take a little bit of pressure for you to get it open, but it, I wouldn't say it's any more pressure than it is to push, to push a screen door to where you need it to be. Let's try that again, because for a lot of people, this is a deal breaker. So it's going down the way it's supposed to go down. Let's do it from the side. And where you see the, the latch, I'm gonna face the sun and get it open. And there it is, this is how it looks from the side. All right, just like the Amazon pictures. This is how it looks from the back as you're speeding past people. 
This is how it looks from the other side. And um, that's how it looks like from the front. How do I wear it? Well, first I have to take my hat off. This is, like again, I told you it runs a size small. So you want to take whatever headgear you have off. So I'm gonna take my hat, my hat off. That's how it looks. I'm gonna open it so you can hear me a little better. Right, on the side. Boom, 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 boom. From the other side. And that's just how it looks. And the one thing that I didn't have to do, right? I didn't do was strap this on. Let me just show you again. And a lot of this you might already know, it might be repetitive, but one thing when you are getting started with something, never assume that whoever you're talking to knows everything there is to know about a product. That's why a lot of the instructions that you get with products, uh, a lot of times don't make sense. And it's not just because of a language barrier or because things are lost in translation. Sometimes people don't know. And uh, we say an informed customer is an empowered customer. And let's look at the strap again. And let's say you see it's too close to your chin, you can adjust it just like you would your book bag, your camera bag, whatever kind of bag you have, and then you would strap it on right here. Strap it in. And you, you know it's in when it's, you hear that snapping sound. And if it's too tight, just lift it up a little bit. And then come down a few notches. And this is, just for reference, that's about, I would know, maybe one and a half inches almost two inches right so that's the strap that is the ribbon that you would pull to get this open and if you have any confusion it says pull right on this red latch that's on the left side of the helmet what I like mostly about this is it doesn't feel cheaply made it also comes with a bag this comes inside a bag that you can use to carry it on so if you ever decide not to use it, right? It's your life. You decide whether you want to feel protected or not. Every time you use it, it's, don't, you don't expect to get into an accident or there are places that you decide for yourself that you might not want to use a helmet. It's optional, right? We have options in life. Everything is not the way that things are supposed to be done. You can make your own way or you can follow what's always been done. But you do have a choice. So. Another way that you can use this latch is you can use it like that. And if you just want to hang it on the handlebar, not when you're moving, but just you don't want it to hit the ground, but it does come with a protective bag. You can hang it like that. Let's say you go to the gym or something and you just want to leave it on your scooter, you can do that. And you can get another lock to lock it if you really don't trust uh, the area or the people in the area. So, we get it back open. Another thing about this helmet, and why you can get it on Amazon, and why a lot of people choose not to get it straight from the company, it's because the warranty. When it comes time to returning a product, there are not too many companies that can compete with the 30-day money-back guarantee that you get with Amazon, Amazon Prime Services. Some people call it a necessary evil. Well, it's a way to use it and see if you like it. If you don't like it, just send it back. And another thing here at the top, it, these vents, they have these buttons right here. You can go left, you can go right. Now it's open, now it's closed. When we talk about anti-fog, the engineering behind this has thought up of different scenarios in which you need to quickly defog the mirror. That's part of why it doesn't fog, is because you can adjust, whoop, just like that, whether these vents are open or closed. 
we just might want to let your head breathe. It's summertime, right? Close it. And in the back it has a vent, but it's fixed on the open position. And so, in the back also, it's fixed on the open position. But these on top, you can actually adjust. What else? The one in the front, you can also adjust. Right? So you want to hear nothing, you don't want to get much air, whoop, up it goes. Now you fully look like a robot, one of the Transformers. I don't know which one, just pick any one. And that's it. If you have any comments or questions about this helmet, please let me know. Thank you for watching.